There needs to be a YouTube video on how to YouTube video questions. Well, yeah. if you have a hiccup, don't just stop. When you start doing things over and over, you create these grooves in your mind. A hundred percent. Hey, Craig, let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, daughters, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. Whoa. <laughs> Coffee. Look at that, Mr. Jason. Where did you get that mug? You like my coffee talk mug? The insurance dude store, of course. Where's the insurance dude store? Well, I don't know. Maybe you have to go to the show notes. Oh, or you could probably Google it. That's how I find it. I don't even know where it is. I Googled it. That Pick Google them. has some answers, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I find it. Not to go too far down the thing, but isn't it weird? And I really am trying to limit my Facebook time because it just is a terrible. But I find it very strange when somebody asks a question like, or what's a good movie to go out and see tonight? It's like, well, what? you just Google it. Or, you know, how do I fix my bike tire? What? I mean, I don't know. How many people do you follow on Facebook that ask, how do I fix my bike? <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> right. that's, a, that's an unfollow right there. <laughs> but no it's so true so many people say well my computer doesn't work like how do you do this on the computer and it's like dude there's a youtube video to literally how to do anything like if, <laughs> right. if you're asking other people there needs to be a youtube video on how to youtube video questions well it's gonna take longer to sit around and wait for some people to give you the wrong answer i mean if you're gonna do that <laughs> guys, you yahoo answers <laughs> yeah. Oh, we are. Where do we go? It's I don't know. Coffee. Coffee. Don't worry. We got something good. So if you were listening on Wednesday and listen to Mitch Dunford. Yes. I mean, so cool. Awesome. Yeah. What a good guy. So cool, too. I mean, I love the educational piece for teenagers in yeah. high school that to, to get their feet wet in the industry that like not a lot of people know about unless they're in the industry you know what i mean huh yeah so i thought that was really cool i did yeah i agree it was really cool and my favorite thing that he said was what's the one thing that you tell insurance agents a piece of advice and it was to do something spoiler alert well it can't be a spoiler alert if it was last wednesday well unless you didn't listen yeah. <laughs> but no, that's but, the thing yeah right is that we're living like this day and age right now, this whole year, a lot of people are not doing anything. And we've been talking about it for weeks now. We got to be leaders. We got to do something like that's it. I think it's as simple as do something. You know what? If you complained about anything this week, do something about it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Get your hair did if you're not happy with your hair. Yeah. And do. Yeah, if it's not did do. I, I, I noticed I used to do a lot of that. It was yeah, back, you know, back in the drinking days, and you you just point figures, and you want it to go to you know to everybody else's fault. And it's so easy to go down this kind of thinking. You have to check yourself before you wreck yourself, because if you're not constantly, I mean, back to what we were talking about uh, last week, right? This is the same stuff. It's the taking that inventory, looking through what, where are you? Are you on pace with your GPS? Like, are you doing all the things? Because once you start mm -hmm. doing those things, you're going to find yourself out in the middle of the desert and nobody around and you got to stick to your plan, right? Yep. And do something. Anything is oh. better than nothing. I know you relate to this with me is that a lot of times we got these big plans and we were, we're doing them right. And then all of a sudden you get like derailed a little bit. And it's so easy to do nothing about it. And then you're like, well, I already stopped doing it. So I might as well do these other things. And then you just, it's just, you stop. You use that one time of stopping as a reason to not continue instead of like, oops, I didn't do it yesterday, but I'm going to do, I'm back on pace today. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, you start developing the negative habit. Yeah. Right? We yep. talked about the grooves before. I don't know who it was, but when you start doing things over and over, you create these grooves in your mind. And the mm. more you do them, whether they're good or bad, it's going to reinforce it. Like with the producers, if the producers aren't having a daily meeting and aren't going over the practice, the stuff they need to do to close the business, what happens? Start becoming order takers again. They start doing it the easy way. 
right? And then they get good at doing it the easy way, and all of a sudden the close ratios go down, and all the stuff, the cart falls apart, and it just happens. Or you're, yeah, you're doing the meetings, then you stop doing the meetings, and it's easy to not do it the next day, and the next day, then all of a sudden your sales go down, and you're like, why aren't they selling, right? Uh, I know and why, then, Mr. Jason. <laughs> why? you weren't doing meetings. Yes. Yeah. If you have a hiccup, don't just stop. Redo, right? Do. Do. Do and redo. The worst thing that's going to happen is you're where you are now without doing anything. Yep. Unless you come up with a really terrible idea and actually do it. But I mean, most of the things that you're going to do are probably going to be somewhere in the correct direction. Do, redo, and then it Ben did, right? Ben did. Ben did. I'm telling you, I think that's a great way to go into the weekend thinking about what you did and what you're going to do. A hundred percent. It goes back to that scheduling and everything else. Uh, All of it. Do and do more. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) What I was thinking about last week was that a lot of people beat themselves up because they're comparing themselves to other people. All you have to do is a little bit more be a little bit better than you were yesterday. You, not somebody else. So it's like, don't use other people where they're at. It's like, oh, I'm not going to do that because they got this and they're so much further. I can never be, don't compare yourself to other people. Who cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? If you need something to keep you accountable, why not get the uh, the thing from Garrett, that app, right? The Game Warrior of Warrior app. Yeah. There you go. I love it. And I didn't and download that- it yet. You know why? Because I didn't do. You oh. did. But you didn't start, did you? You're right. Did you start? I did start so, a little bit, but yeah, okay. I'm not. How about this? Yeah. I'll download it. So okay. I, what's a hundred bucks a month? I'm going to download it and I will do. And then when we circle back next Monday, let's talk about how we did it. Okay. Now I'm holding us accountable. I know you're worried because you're like, oh man. Should no. Give it a I'm week. Down. Circle back after a week or we could talk about how we're starting it. Yeah, but I mean, what, well, let's check back in a month and let's really, after it's been done, so we'll, you and I will hold each other accountable. But once we are on, I'd like to have some data to talk about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's like a little push have, along the way, though. Yeah. No. One of us won't do it, and then we're going to have to make fun of the other one. We won't do? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. All right. We're declaring. We're making a declaration. Who should we put it in the manifesto? Is gonna make declare what you want. Declare what you're gonna do and just do. Just do. Do something. One of three th- do three things. Three things on your list. <laughs> okay. I love it. Okay. Coffee talk. This week got me tired out. Have mm-hmm. some coffee and uh yeah. have a good weekend. Coffee. I'll see you on Monday, Mr. Subscribe, Jason. join the Facebooks. The groups and Facebooks of the insurance Ooh. dudes. What about the podcast, the audio? All that stuff. Sure. Buy yourself a coffee talk mug. Oh. You know what I mean? Ooh. 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 I even threw out a deal for the free shirt. Did you see that? I don't even know if yes. you saw it. You saw yes. it? Did you get, were you like, yes? Or were you like, ah, just giving stuff away again? I would love a free shirt, Craig. Yeah. You didn't give me one. No, well, you already subscribed. But if you aren't a subscriber to YouTube... <laughs> And you subscribe, got penalized. screenshot it, you post it and say, I just subscribed. And you tag Emily, which you'll have to, or you can email her, emily at idudes.com. What will happen? She's going to send you a shirt. Sure. Eh? Let's do. Let's do. Why don't they do? And then we do. And let's go into the weekend and do, do. <laughs> oh, I knew you're going there. <laughs> I knew you were trying to figure out a way to go there. So let's All right. do it. Coffee yeah. talk. Hey, Jason. Yes, Mr. Craig. That was another awesome episode, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, if people want to get a little bit more action and, and learn how to do uh, write 100000 in premium off yes. of even the worst internet leads, where could they go? They can go to live.teledudes.com. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Are we going to be there? Yes. It's a weekly call that we're doing right now that will – it's live, and it will show you the process, the entire process. Mm, it's super awesome. Mm, I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sign up right now, live.teledudes.com. Live.teledudes.com. That's live. 
www.deladudes.com. Hey, Craig, there's a new community that we are starting that I cannot wait to tell everybody about. It is our live texting community where you and I are going to answer people's questions and give them free content, right? Are you kidding me? We get yep. to talk to them? Yeah, which is awesome, but they have to opt in. They have to text us at 520-214-2219. That's 520-214-2219. Nice. I'm Craig, are you going to respond to these texts? I'm going to respond to them for sure, live. I'm into it too. It's going to be well, awesome. And it's a it's going to be our new texting community where we're going to get back to everybody that we can and drop some crazy content, free content and free um, the calculator that you just came up with. Mm. That's right. The calling calculator, sales material. I mean, everything for insurance agents. This is it. It's the best texting community out there for insurance agents. Well, what the heck is that number again? I can't remember it. It's 520-214-2219. That's okay. 520-214-2219. I love it. I'm going to text it right now. 520-214-2219. All right. I'll see you later, Mr. Jason. Bye, Mr. Craig. Hey, do they even listen to this on the radio anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Uh, all right.